Well, tonight the trustees will, list, uh, will be sitting as committee the whole board and they'll be hearing delegations from a number of groups that are responding to the report that we put out uh, about 10 days ago uh, with our recommendations with respect to the uh, interim recommendations for uh, dealing with some of the overcrowding in the Glebe and Old Ottawa South. If our recommendation were approved this evening and then approved by the board, the whole board on uh, the 22nd next week, uh, we'll start looking at the issues around transportation. I, I suspect the biggest issue that we're going to hear about is how families will cope with having to go to two schools, in some cases with older and younger siblings, and we've already had th some of those discussions. And uh, the registrations that have been kept at First Avenue will be moved over. So the principals are prepared to jump in as soon as the board has finalized its decision. There's some rooms that we may have to make some minor changes to once the principal's had a chance to get a better sense of what she needs done in the building. So we may have to, for example, add a couple of washrooms within a classroom. If we're going to put a kindergarten in a class that wasn't a kindergarten before, we may have to look at cubbies. So there's some, there'll be some alterations that will be required. Since we've been working with this community over the last year, they've identified that there are a number of problems that um, need to be resolved over the longer term. So we've identified a process and a timeline that will involve schools in that kind of discussion that will allow us to uh, hopefully come up with some recommendations that could be implemented maybe as early as 2012 uh, that will deal with uh, some of these uh, system issues that need to be dealt with. Parents daycare, we have two major concerns. The first of which is the um, is the option to move the junior kindergarten children to uh, from First Avenue to much more. If we at least get a, a lot of consultation from the board as to when and how that's happening, and we have a lot of input so that we're able to meet the needs of our families and and uh, make sure that it's as smooth and, and as painless as possible. Get our staffing in place and uh, get our programming set up at least if we could have enough lead time. Um, our other concern is, a, a big concern for us, is that the, um, the board is looking towards moving the most vulnerable children. Um, the three-year-olds, they're just starting their career in school, and the more transitions they have, the harder it is for them. So this is actually, instead of uh, taking into uh, Dr. Ch Charles Pascal's um, vision of a seamless day, this is actually chopping it up their day even more than it has been and adding more transitions for them. So for us that is a, is a huge concern. So we would uh, prefer to have an option where it would be an older, more, ease, uh, more developmentally appropriate child or able child to, um, to, to, uh, to, to do through, through the transition. Um, than the, the younger one who's maybe not as easy to understand it, but failing that, if they do go with the option of moving the JKs, we would really like to have enough lead time and um, be in on the consultation so that we can prepare ourselves and our families. I believe that they will have to make some changes to classrooms, because currently we have only one uh, classroom that's established for kindergarten children, and there are no others that are set up like that. So they will need probably two and a half classrooms to accommodate all the children they're expecting and so they're going to have to put some money into buying supplies, um, finding which particular space is best for them. We don't have optimal spaces for them um, just because some of our rooms are small or some of them are in the basement, things of that nature. Option D would more fully support an English school by offering uh, Middle French Immersion at our school, which is currently only English. We feel that a lot of parents in our neighbourhood um, would like to have a later French um, immersion option, and currently in our area there's only early French Immersion, so we thought by moving Middle French Immersion from Hopewell to much more, it would alleviate some of the overcrowding at Hopewell, while at the same time strengthening the English program that's offered at our school.